Okay, with this question, the first thing to realize is that we have two similar triangles here. So we've got the smaller triangle here, and we've got the bigger triangle here. And they are mathematically similar because this angle is going to be the same as this angle because they're parallel lines, those are corresponding angles. This angle is going to be the same as this angle uh, for the same reason. And this is a shared angle. So there are two triangles with exactly the same angles, therefore they have to be mathematically similar. And mathematically similar means all the angles are the same, but we've just multiplied all the length by something to get to the new triangle. So important first step of this is to draw out the two triangles. Okay, and I'm just going to sketch them out roughly. So a small one, and we've got the big one. And then copy the length. So this is going to be 23. This is going to be 9. This is going to be 36 at the bottom here. And this one's going to be 60. Okay, now ask for the value of CE, which is this bottom length here. That's the bit we're trying to find. But I'm going to ignore that, and I'm going to work out what AC is. The reason for that is if I know AC, I can take it away from 60 to work out CE, because I know the total distance is 60. Okay, to do that, I need to work out what the scale factor is. And the scale factor, all you need is a length on both of the triangles, which is corresponding, which means it's the same length, but on the uh, two different triangles. Um, and to do that, we do the big length. I say the same, it's not going to be the same length, but the same position on both triangles. So big length over small length. Okay, so the two I'm going to pick is obviously the bottom two. And we're going to find out what we times 9 by to get to 36. So 36 over 9. And that's obviously going to be 4. Okay, because 4 times 9 is 36. Um, okay, so we know we times that by 4, so the scale factor is 4. Now, if we go from big to small, we times it by 4. But here, we're going from, so if we go from small to big, we times it by 4. But here, we're going from big to small. So instead of times by 4, we're going to divide it by 4, because it's going to get smaller, isn't it? So we're going to do 60 divided by 4, and I should really write down what I'm doing. I'm doing AC, um, and that's going to be 15. So we know that it's going to be 15 here for this bit, okay? But the total is 60, and we're looking for what's left over. So we're going to do uh, CE equals the total 60, take away the bit we know that we don't want, and that's going to be 45. So the answer is 45.